What's going on, everybody? This is Jeff with Living in Arizona, and today we're going to talk about HOAs. So if you're in our group Living in Arizona on Facebook, uh, you've seen the most popular uh, kind of discussion that we're having over there. It was about an HOA in Peoria that fined a family because the children were writing uh, positive affirmations on the garage concrete. And this, uh, this went popular all across the news here in Phoenix, and it's also in our group. Hope to see you guys over there having that conversation there. But um, people are, you know, they're making a lot of comments about HOAs. And uh, if you're really interested in HOAs, you should join and check out that uh, commentary that people are saying. But I'm not going to say too much on that. Now, I'm going to tell you about my own personal experience and do did a little bit of research for you guys to see where some of the most common pros and cons that people have said across the web about uh, living in a community with HOAs. So if you don't know what an HOA is, it's a homeowners association. It's where uh, you basically pay this management company to oversee the uh, community as a whole, the whole neighborhood. And they tell people to uh, keep the noise down, move the car that's been sitting there for two months, don't paint your house pink, stuff like that. So they keep your neighbors in check so your neighborhood doesn't go down the drain. They also are supposed to pull weeds. Whether they do or not, we'll see about that. So anyways, uh, if you're excited about this video, crush up the likes. And if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe to the channel also. Um, before I get into that, I also wanted to say I, I do have a list of videos that I'm working on. Um, one of them is what I consider to be very valuable. It's a series of apps that I have on my phone that I've acquired through uh, research and stuff that makes life more efficient. Not just things like... Uh, Amazon Prime, Instacart, um, even fries, you know, the getting delivery uh, for your groceries, um, Nextdoor app, Ring Doorbell app, Facebook Marketplace. I want to share all of that information with you guys. I've done a lot of research on that, and I think I'm ready to present that to you guys. Uh, so if you guys want that video and any others, please drop a comment below letting me know if you want that. And thank you to the 11 people who already crushed up the likes. So let's dive in here and talk about the pros and cons of HOAs. So first thing I wanted to say, though, um, fees vary. But for the most part, if you're moving into a brand new build, into a brand new community. Yeah, that's right. This is the Arizona Cardinals hat. If you're not a fan of the Arizona Cardinals, uh, get ready because we're going to have a big year this year. Um, but if you're moving into a brand new home, odds are you're going to have an HOA, a homeowners association. Uh, one of the things that builders are now doing is they're, they're trying to make a selling point of like, hey, brand new home, no HOA. This is like becoming a thing because people really don't like the HOAs, but fees do vary. And what can make an HOA uh, fee vary? Uh, is there a community pool? Is there a community center? If you live in a community center, it might be anywhere between $150 to $200. Uh, in the community that I live in, we don't have a uh, uh community center. So we pay about 70 to $80 a month. Our fees did go up about $3 this year though. <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah. So um, let's see. So you're also told what to do. That's something that people don't like. And if, they're, if you're told what to do, like move the trash bins off the road, you can be fined. Okay. If they tell you too many times, if you don't pull the weeds, you can be fined. If you need to build something in your backyard, what I'm trying to do right now is uh, I'm trying to build a patio cover for my backyard. I have to wait for the county and I also have to wait for the HOA. But guess who's taking their time? The HOA. <clears throat> so these are things that uh, can really be irritating. But if you do get into it with the HOA, don't take it personal. Uh, another thing is try to keep a positive uh, relationship with them. So that's important. Um, embrace the meeting rules. Don't be the one who goes against the grain. Uh, they can find you and, uh, you know, they can, you know, you could get into it with them and that could, you know, create a bad environment. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. What are some other things that you need to know? Uh, they can reduce your responsibilities. This is a pro. So, uh, they can take some of the responsibilities of the homeowners, uh, and do it through the community fee like pulling weeds in the common areas, uh, upkeeping parks, up, upkeep uh, <clears throat> the appearance of the community. Um, can an HOA foreclose on your home? 
If you get behind on your fees, the HOA may be able to foreclose on your home. So this is a big thing right there. Um, the HOA, they can spring assessments on you and they can limit you from renting your place. So these are things people don't like. Got some comments. Okay. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on this. Uh, it is things that are pros and cons of it. Thanks of living in an HOA. Uh, the membership is mandatory. There is red tape and bureaucracy. You got to deal with that. Penalties for breaking HOA rules. The pros are stabilizes the value of the property, protects and maintains the community amenities, and mediates problems be among community members and in the neighborhood. So yeah, that's <laughs> overall, I would say that I would rather have property and not live in a community that is run by an HOA. That's just my own personal opinion. So uh, America for Real says, heck yeah, I want to see those apps. Okay, so I will put together a video with those apps, including uh, Instacart, OfferUp, and some of those other ones. And I'll talk about those and my experience using those apps. Uh, also some smart home uh, apps, smart home technologies from around my house. If you guys haven't already seen the other videos that I did, I did a video on garage insulation. And some of you guys were asking for a full tour of my garage, my garden, and around my house. So if you guys want those videos, drop a comment below and let me know if you guys want those. This is a quick one about the HOA, pros and cons. Some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, also join our group about gardening, link right here. So we do have a, a gardening uh, group if you guys love to garden. So not having an HOA has raised my home value, says 280 zone. So you do get a, a varying uh, opinions on this. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> Raven says, would never live in an HOA like my freedom and privacy. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different opinions coming from this. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks to the 18 people who crushed up the likes. And uh, also let me know in the comments below what videos you want from me. See you guys.